Hello everyone, and welcome to Analytic Bytes, a video series where we explore common startup analytics use cases and how to architect them. This is the first episode of the series, and I am your host. My name is Dylan, and I am a senior analytics specialized solutions architect here at AWS. In today's episode, we are going to introduce the concept of modern data architecture and how startup customers can leverage the modern data architecture to think big, start small, and scale fast on their data journey. Let's get started. A data-driven organization is imperative for the future. Data-driven organizations treat data like an asset make it available and accessible to everyone, and put it to work to enable better, more informed decisions. Forrester estimates data-driven businesses are growing at an average of more than 30% annually. That being said, most organizations are not putting their data to work. While companies are creating, collecting, and storing more data than ever before, much of it remains underutilized or not used at all. Accenture found that 68% of companies are not able to realize tangible and measurable values from their uh, data. In order to tap into the data, an organization must cultivate a data-driven culture and have a data strategy in place. According to the same Accenture report, only 28% of companies have a strategy in place to take advantage of analytics tools and infrastructures. So what are the challenges blocking startups to become a data-driven organization? Firstly, we're seeing exponential growth in the variety of data sources and data types. Valuable data is generated from websites, machines, IoT devices, social media, and SaaS solutions. Likewise, we are seeing some exciting growth in the ways data is being used. Moving beyond traditional reports to interactive dashboards, predictive machine learning models, and real-time predictions. This is awesome, except that keeping up with this diverse analytical needs is becoming harder and harder for analytics platform owners. On top of that, the volume and the velocity of data is also increasing exponentially. This means that performance, manageability, and scalability are becoming significant challenges as spinners look to turn their data into actionable insights. Likewise, the cost is ever increasing and often in an unpredictable way. The traditional tools we have are often inflexible, unable to catch up with the variety of data types, sources, and needs across the business. And last but not least, with the diverse needs of stakeholders across business, it's becoming harder and harder to maintain the right access and protections for your data. So how should startup customers address all those above challenges? The first point I want to make before even getting into modern data architecture is that startup customers do not need to build a complex solution all at once to solve all the above challenges. Instead, startup customers need a data strategy that is easy to set up, proven at scale, and extendable in nature. With such strategy, startup customers can lay down a comprehensive an ambitious vision fitting all their various analytics needs. But at the same time, startup customers can be swift and agile. They can start small on one or several high priority workloads to get business value fast. Finally, they can, start, they can scale fast. Startup customers can easily add new data sources, scale the workloads up and down, and support new analytics needs when it comes. These are all made possible by a modern data architecture on AWS. So what is a modern data architecture? A modern data architecture acknowledges that taking a one-size 
fits all approach to analytics eventually leads to compromise. To build a data platform truly fitting your business needs is not simply about integrating a data lake with a data warehouse, but rather about picking the right tool for the right use cases and making decisions with speed and agility at scale. As you can see on the left-hand side, a modern data architecture has five key design principles. With a modern data architecture on AWS, customers can rapidly build scalable data lakes, ingest and process data at any scale. On top of that, with a broad collection of purpose-built data services, startup customers can scale their system at a low cost without compromising performance. With that many purpose-built data services, a natural need is to move data seamlessly. Modern data architecture also allow seamless data movement across uh, the analytic services and also sharing data across organizational boundaries at ease. Last but not least, modern data architecture has native extension to AI and ML. This is critical for startup customers. It helps customers to create entirely new revenue opportunities, make better and faster decisions, and improve operational efficiencies. So is this just another buzzword? Here is a reference architecture for modern data uh, strategy on the cloud. We have color-coded typical analytics workload into different modules. As you can see, within the blue box is the backbone and most common starting points of a modern data architecture for startup customers, the serverless data lake. On the le left-hand side, with this example, we have RDS as the application data sources, which is a common data source for startup customers. We also use Salesforce and Slack as two example data sources for SaaS applications. Startup customers can ingest those data via Amazon Fflow. We use Amazon S3 as the centralized uh, data repository uh, that acts as the raw data lending though. And then with those data landed on S3, you can use AWS Glue and Amazon EMR to, to perform transformation of the data. Once you have transformed your data into a curated uh, uh, data layer, then you can expose those data to the consumption engines. We have two examples here, Amazon Asina as the ad hoc query engine and Amazon QuickSight as the BI tools. On top of the serverless data lake, startup customers can pick and choose different extensions depending on their business priorities and needs. For example, a common extension point is to add the stream processing layer. Some other common extension points are observability functionalities with Amazon OpenSearch, data warehouse with Amazon Redshift, transactional data layer with open source technologies such as Apache Hoodie, Apache Iceberg, and, De and Delta Lake. And then, of course, there's the extendability to add AI ML capability with Amazon SageMaker. We will dive into each of the module in the following series of analytic bytes. Please, aware, please be aware this reference architecture is a conceptual reference to demonstrate the integration of the above modules. It is one of many ways to integrate all the above AWS services together. We will dive deeper into those integration points in the upcoming video series. Another thing to call out is that this reference architecture is fully modulized in the sense that you can pick and choose the relevant modules to add based on your own business use cases. To recap, a modern data architecture allows startup customers to think big, start small, and scale fast. A modern data architecture is a fully future-proofed, extendable architecture so that startup customers can lay down a comprehensive and ambitious vision fitting various analytics needs. 
it is a modularized architecture where startup customers can be swift and agile, start from one or several high priority workloads um, at the starting point. It is also fully extendable and battle proven at scale so that startup customers can scale fast. You can easily add new data sources, scale the workload up and down, and add new analytics needs when the required comes. To learn more about the modern data architecture use cases and reference architecture, please visit our Analytics on AWS website links. This concludes our episode today, and thank you again for joining the first Analytics Bytes series. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye.